We don't trust the Nigerian police again. Because we don't know what will happen. For an offense we never committed, we were being detained, tortured for 15 good days in the cell, A division cell, without doing nothing. It was later, when we were in the cell, we had the commissioner of police gave order for us to be released after dismissal. Because I rejected 8 million, 8 million naira bribe from my boss in the system. Because I rejected the money, you now frame me up. I was unjustly dismissed from the force by refusing to compromise the harm robbery case. When I was offered the sum of 8 million naira from a top senior police officer. Sometimes in the month of December 2018, one Dr. Abdurazak Omawumi came to our office that he was robbed of his car and with other valuables. We swung into action, but we gave him time. 2019, uh, August, we saw the signal, we saw the location of the vehicle, and the location of the vehicle was reading Kefi, Nasawa State. We called the doctor to inform him of the location of, the, of, this, of his stolen vehicle. He came, we told him the location of the vehicle, and he agreed to follow us to the Nasara State. On getting to Nasara State, along with the complainant, Dr. Omowumi, doctor's cars were recovered, along with four different stolen cars that were st stolen by the same suspect. Eventually, when we took those suspects to Kwara State Command, one woman sergeant approached us Ajibola Tawa, a serving police officer under communication in Kwara State Command. So he approached us as those suspects that we brought are our brothers. Well, we should try and assist her. Which I tried to, I told her that this is a robbery case and we are still investigating the case. The second morning, on getting to the cell to feed the suspect, I met Tawa. Ajibola, woman sergeant, serving in communication, along with Supo Ali Abdukadri, ASP, serving in CCID, who is now the OC in Ajadis farm in Elori, the gang leader, the armed robbery the gang leader, discussing with the suspect, John Opagule, in the cell. I challenged them. Now, why are they talking to my suspect without informing me? From there, I took the two of them before the Okasomi, Ajayi, SP, the PPRO. They na we narrate all what, what happened in the cell to them. And the PPRO, Ajayi Okasomi, immediately went to the CP, the Kayo de Alberto Kun. To complain to him, immediately the commissioner of police, the Kai Odi order the detention of the Tawa Ajibola and Ali Abdukadri in the cell. The second day, I went to the PPRO, and the PPRO chose me and one sergeant, Oyebani, to follow Abdukadri, Supo, Ali, to arrest. Ajadi, the gang leader of those armed robbers in, in, in Lori. On getting to the, the place, we, were, we fixed a time to meet at that junction. Within two, mini, within two minutes, we saw Ajadi coming, and Supo Ali and Bukadiri moved close to him in the car and entered through the car. And the, both of them drove away that very night. That's all we've seen that very night. That's how Ajadi escaped that very night. We went back to the office to meet the PPRO and complained to him that Supo Ali Dukadri refused to arrest Ajadi and hand over to us. 
has claimed in your office. The people who asked us to go, myself and Ayobami. We, went, we left the office. The next morning, Supu Ali Abdul Kadri and Supu Kola and Tawa called Copra Babatunde Glorious that they were interested in that case. That they, were, they would do all their possible best to quench it, or for the case to die down. That they are ready to offer us the sum of 8 million naira. That's how they discussed it. We both left. We discussed the same issue as they said. We met, we took. The matter before the PPRO, myself and Corporal Batunde, we informed the PPRO, Ajahio Kaksomin SP. Before the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Oyele Yadebuyega, sent a signal to our office to transfer the case file to his office, not to the state CID. He personally called myself, the Babatunde Glorious, because we were both the Help you and the tracker of that office of the same case. He called us to his office and said, What do we want over this case? And we told him, Sir, you are our boss. You are our guy. This is a case of car theft, which those guys normally use military uniform to rob and snatch cars from innocent Nigerians. That's how we explained to the, 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 the AC. And I said, since we have recovered the stolen car, which we tracked down to Nasarawa, we should release the car, the rest car, to those guys and release those guys to go. And we told him, sir, ha, let's try and recover the rest cars. That's how he drove us out from his office. The next thing we'll see, after, after two days, he sent us a signal that we should transfer the case file of the said car theft, the armed robbery case, to his personal office, not to state CID. That we should transfer it to his office, the exhibit, the case file, and the suspect to his office on so so did. We met with the PPRO, the PPRO went to the CP, the car of the Alberto Kuhn, then CP. And this is what happened, the CP asked us to ignore the signal that we should not act on the signal. After a week, we saw a signal from Jephtha that we should come to his office again, myself and uh, Abatunde Glorious. On getting to his office, he asked me to go again. And I left. The next thing I had, Abatunde Glorious has been detained. I was alleged that I stole suspect phone in this. I converted suspect phone to my own use. Did I remove the suspect SIM from the phone? Did I use it to make call? Or did they even recover the phone from my hand? Why lies? Why? Because you want to achieve your criminal act. The second day, I was asked to come down to Lauren. I left Lagos the second day to Lauren. I'm getting to Lauren. Battle was released. I was detained in the cell. Before I know, they brought my baton to come and join me. The next thing, the Jephtha, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Jephtha, Sanoyanti Monge, ordered us to be handcuffed, tortured, for a case I never commit. For doing the right thing, we were being handcuffed, tortured, in the presence of Awogbemi Samuel. Ola Yinka, and really one, Fatai Olariwaju, my former suspect in a case of fraud. For 15 good days, our family were not allowed to see us. I don't know that doing the right thing in the police force is an offense. The next thing, woman sergeant Ajibola Tawa came to our office and confronted myself and Baba Tunde Glorious. 
that if our mother, our parents don't want to mourn us, we should desist from this arm robbery case. That we should desist from this arm robbery case. He said it three times. We should desist from this arm robbery case. Or else, himself and Adegbo the assistant commissioner of police in charge of admin, will dismiss us. The Supo Akandu SP show us a text message from assistant commissioner of police, Oyeleye, that we should be dismissed by all costs. We should not, we should not allow our witness to show face and give witnesses. We ask him, Oga, since they ask us, they ask you to do that, go ahead and do it. After the dismissal letter was issued to us in the office, the people who called us to come to the office, and we went to him. That was the day we took our uniform to the provost office, and the provost refused to take it. That very day was on the 15th, when the, the, the assistant commissioner of police signed the signal that we should interview him on the 17th. The assistant, we have the signal with us. We should interview him over the robbery case that we refuse to release those cars to those armed robbery. After robbers have been released from the prison, we went to his office. That was when he now confronted us. That he has warned us. Myself and Baba Tunde Glorious went to his office and he said it in our presence that he has warned us to desist from this robbery case. That can you see that he's the one in charge of the command that we should go to hell, go to hell, go to anywhere we want. That is in charge of the command. That is in charge of the command. That's how we left the office. We draw, submit the necessary documents, the case file with us. We hand over to the next senior man in the office and we left. And the people around later call us again. That the CP seriously want to see us. And we said, sir, we cannot call. Because we don't trust the system again. We don't trust the Nigerian police again. Because we don't know what will happen. For an offense we never committed. We were being detained. Tortured. For 15 good days in the cell. A division cell. Without doing nothing. Because I rejected 8 million, 8 million naira bribe. From my boss in the system. Police officers. We they have name, we have the voice record. Because I rejected the money, you now frame me up. You said those suspects did not commit any offense. Ah! My point is this. All what we stated here, if, we, if there is any iota of lie in it, I want the Nigeria police force to prosecute me for giving false information and misleading the general public. All what I need the most is justice. Life has become so difficult since I was dismissed. Immediately they stopped my salary. But I still thank God. But I want the Nigerians, the police authority, to look into the matter and do the needful. God bless Nigeria. I will want my father my boss, the IGP, in person of Baba Ali Kali, to please, because of God, assign another investigator to please investigate these two cases. And if I personally am guilty of the offense, I'm ready to be prosecuted. Okay. I told you that matter happened in Quarantine's commander. Mm. The 
case, to the best of my knowledge, was investigated against the two individuals you mentioned. And the outcome of the investigation led to their being tried and their dismissal. They have taken a legal step that a policeman is supposed to take if he is uh, unjustly treated. And that is to complain to the higher authority by through a petition. And I believe they have done that. And that is in the process. So I will not be competent to comment on that matter. And to the best of my knowledge, as a policeman, we know the normal thing to do in this kind of a case, not to go into press and the rest of that. I know everybody has his own right, but the best thing to do is what they have done earlier, which I am aware of, that the matter has been, they have written a petition to the first headquarters, and the commander has received a signal. And I believe the proceedings have been transferred to the first headquarters. A case that has happened, a case that judgment has been given at the state, a case that I feel has been written, the IG has been put on, uh, on notice of that matter, is now completely out of my uh, competence to, com to comment on. That's why I told you, the work in quality, they were alleged to have done one or two things, and based on that, they were tried. If they have any reason to say that trial is not uh, competently done, the best thing to do is to write an appeal, which everybody in the force is aware of. If we write an appeal, and I believe they must have written an appeal, and that matter is presently at the fourth headquarters. If all this is all this thing they are telling you is actually what they think is wrong with their trial, they can as well put it in their petition to fourth headquarters, which the police will know what to do. Not for you to be interrogating and asking me what is the opinion or what are the I have nothing to do. There is nothing I can do. I'm not happy that there are policemen that work with me, but they are not dismissed because they, they have not done anything. The trial, if they are complaining that the trial is not well considered, they are not given every right to themselves, they have written to Abuja and they will invite and everybody they are mentioned and be mentioned in their that, uh, that have, they have come. So, asking me of my, uh, my comment for this, it does not matter. understand my own position.